In this video, we're going to learn how to create a brand new contact in the contact mapping app. We're also going to learn how to create a new follow up. Now to create a new contact or a new follow up, you will simply press this quick trigger button right over here. Now you'll see a couple of different options when you do this. The first option you will see is that you can recommend contact mapping to somebody else. That's a very simple button to press. It will pull, put together an email for you with a link to send to somebody else. Now, I do. we do have an affiliate program. If you would like to more information about the affiliate program, we do have a video about that. And you can see that on, this, um, on our website. Now, the next thing that you can do is you can create a new follow-up. A new follow-up is for somebody who's already in your phone. So if they're already in your phone, you can create a new follow-up for them. You can also create a new contact. Creating a new contact is for somebody who is not in your phone. Now, if you create your contact here, the contact will propagate automatically into your phone system. If, they, if you put them in your phone system, it will automatically propagate here to the app and you will find that person right over here where it says unlogged. And when you see unlocked, you open that up and you will actually see anybody who does not have notes. We are gonna go ahead and go over that in a different video. But for now, let's go ahead and create a new contact and then a new follow-up. Now, one other thing that you can do that we will cover in another video is we can create a brand new note. Again, we'll cover that in a separate video. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is create a new contact. And what I would like you to do is I would like you to pull out your app and follow along and do this exercise with me. I am going to give you my information. So if you end up with questions, you need help, you got stuck, you, you need to come to office hours, anything like that, you'll be able to have my information to be able to easily get a hold of me. So at certain times during this video, I will say to pause the video and complete the action and then come back to the video. So let's go ahead and create a new contact. And when we do, go ahead and put my name in, Elizabeth, E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H. And then last name, Larson, L-A-R-S-O-N. There we go. Now, I'm going to give you my office phone number. That is 513-760-6814. And then we'll go ahead and set that to work. Now, the next thing I want you to do, and please pause this video and put this information in and then start and then grab the rest of the information or pause at the end and then complete it when it's all on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and give you my email address, Elizabeth, E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H, Elizabeth, at contactmappy.com. And again, this is work. There. Now you have all of that information. And make sure you have all that information in. And then once you do, you're going to hit the Save button. Now, this screen is going to look a little different if you're on iPhone than if you're on an Android. I demo on an Android because it allows me to draw, which makes it easier for me to show you how to utilize this app. So, um, but it's the exact same principle again. So we are going to go ahead and hit that save button. Once it's saved, this will look a little different depending on which phone you are, you are on. If you are on iPhone, this will automatically pop over to where it says new note. So just hold on a second and we'll get right over there. If you're on Android, it will pull up this information where you see everything you just entered. And now you'll need to go ahead and hit that back button to get to the new note. So go ahead and hit the back button. And when you do, it's now going to ask you about the new note. The new note will be, the system will ask you to make a new note anytime you put in a brand new contact or anytime you complete a follow-up. 
This is so you can remember the most detailed information and remember what was important about the person, the interaction, and all of those things. So in a year, you'll be able to know exactly what you did with this person. And the great thing is, I always recommend utilizing the voice to text system on your phone. By doing voice to text in about 26 seconds, you can create the most detailed information. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm going to voice to text the information in here. And then what I'd like you to do is go ahead and pause the video, go ahead and do the voice to text on your phone into the note itself, and then resume the video and we'll continue together. Now to open up your uh, keyboard, which is where you'll find your microphone for your voice to text, just press anywhere on the screen with your finger. And now you'll see your keyboard. Now, again, it'll look a little different for iPhone than Android. If you're on an iPhone, you will see this space bar down here. And on the space bar, it's usually the button to the left for iPhone. For Android, it's a little different. Depends on this Android system you're using and the phone system you're using. So with that said, it could be above the six, seven, eight. Sometimes it's above those numbers right there where you'll see the microphone. Other times it'll be in the exact same place as the iPhone, the button to the left of the space bar down below. Another place you can find it is like my phone, where the button to the left of the space bar is a cog with three dots, which means that there are other options. And so I'm just going to press down on that cog without lifting up. And now I'm going to find my microphone right there. So that's where I find mine. Once I press on my microphone, I will see this little thing that comes up that's showing that it's, you know, reading my voice. And I will go ahead and say what it is that I want to remember. And again, this is what I'd like you to go ahead and voice to text into your note. After I'm done with this, just pause the video and go ahead and complete this yourself as well. Elizabeth is the chief of client success at contact mapping, period. She has live office hours every Wednesday at 1 p.m., period. This is a Zoom meeting, period. I can find the link in the community, period. She also does a live onboarding training every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Now, just as soon as you're done with your voice to text, you'll want to exit out of it so it doesn't continue to record everything that you're saying. Again, go ahead and pause the video and complete this and then resume the video as soon as you're done. Now that you're back, you should have the exact same information in your note. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to simply hit this little save button. When we do that, it will pop over to our next screen and we'll see that it's asking us if we would like to create a follow up with me. So now we're going to create a new follow up and I want you to click the today button and this will be a follow up with me. And again, I want you to voice to text in this area, what do you want to follow up with about? And so as soon as I put that information in, you can pause the video and complete that action on your phone as well. Make sure I register for her office hours, which is on Wednesday at 1 p.m., period. I can find the link in the community, period. If I do not have access to the community, I need to email Elizabeth. Perfect. Now, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and complete this action on your phone. Now that we're back, you should have this information right in the note. And what we're going to do again is we're going to hit the save button. When we hit the save button, we will now see the follow up propagate into this area 
automatically because it is due today. And now you have created a brand new contact and you have created a brand new follow-up. If you still have questions or if you need help, please join me each week for my live training and office hours. Every Tuesday, we do live onboarding training at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. We do full demonstrations of the app and desktop, cover social media integration, and how-tos on using this wonderful technology. Have more specific questions? Come to my live office hours every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. You can ask how to utilize this technology for your specific business. Maybe you need it for your team. Have affiliate questions? Any of these can be answered during my office hours. I hope to see you there. And please let me know if you need anything. We thank you for being part of Contact Mapping.